a lesson in proper sentence construction. Writing is a process where you place sentences in a proper sequence. Whenever a single sentence is read aloud, it should be easily comprehensible, clear, and concise sentences are almost always preferable example. Javon smiles. See, Javon is the proper noun in that sentence, can be easily replaced by the noun boy. Smiles is the action verb. It does something in the world. If you wanna get fancy and color that sentence up, throw in an adjective just before the noun adverbs, on the other hand, should always follow the verb in which they are used to describe. Example, the black boy smiles largely. See, it should be noted that in this sentence, the black boy is the sentence, not the sentence. The black boy should not be a lesson in court construction or how the judicial system railroads black families. In this poem, the black boy is the subject, the sentence, the object, the object lesson here being is that our courts construct their sentences opposite grammatical law. It is incorrect for a judge to state, I'm going to go with the state's recommendation and sentence you to X amount of years. Rather, whenever we consider an event to be unfinished and could therefore always happen again, we should use perfect present tense conjugation and this this way, a judge might better state the state has been recommending and been sentencing the black boy for years. I used to think, y'all, I used to think I wanted to conquer the world. Like, like any mediocre white man we'd later call great, I thought my life too worthy of a state-sanctioned monument. I believed in the American dream and blind justice. Years ago, I testified in court as a character witness for a friend because I thought all my fancy degrees would matter. The judge gave him a decade for a felony he likely did not commit, but he, even if he did, what exactly? sentence say? What exactly does that sentence mean? His mother wept uncontrollably. The court became a musty clan's robe before they took him away. He turned to us shackled, but the black boy could not smile. The black boy could not smile. The black boy could not. And isn't that a proper sentence too? Clear, concise, still somehow too long like the sentences black folk are always given. However, it is incorrect to say that the black boy was jailed. It is passive. It lacks a subject who jailed the black boy, who jailed the black boy, the racist system, jailed him harshly. See, who's doing all the action here? See, no mention of the black girl, how easily she is erased. See, exactly how we are taught to construct proper sentences. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, um.